In this video, I'm going to go over six snapping strategies succinctly. However, if you just need one of these, I'll put the time code in the description area below so you can just click and jump to the specific time code for the strategy you're interested in reviewing. In addition, I'll put links to the Pivot Painter docs in Unreal, as well as a link to my tutorial video for how to set up any hotkeys in Unreal. So let's jump in. All right, so we're in Unreal, and the first strategy we're gonna go over is rotation and offset snapping. So if you create an object like a lamp, which has objects that you want to maybe sub pieces of a chandelier, you can have this object where the pivot points align to the center point, and then you just turn on rotation-based snapping, and I'm just going to duplicate. And now we've got the other lamp pieces that we wanted. So you can use this as a modular, as a start to building a modular blueprint as well, which I'll do in another video. All right, so let's do a rotational offset. And I've got this UFO here, and I wanna have these a bunch of spheres go around right inside here. So I brought this in and you can see the pivot point on this is offset from the sphere, but the pivot point is exactly the center point of the UFO. So all I need is the location of the UFO. So I'm gonna copy that and I'll just paste that into the sphere. And now I can just duplicate those spheres around the UFO. Also, if I wanna animate them, I could have them be going around here you could do this with, you know, having um, just objects like planets and moons or, you know, the sun with a whole bunch of a galaxy and objects going around the galaxy. I mean, it's not technically an elliptical orbit, but it'd be close. All right, let's go to the next one, which would be ground snapping. So if you have an object, hopefully you know this one, the end key will take you right to the ground. And if you wanted to, you can also hold down the alt end and that'll snap down to the pivot point. So it'll snap down to the ground. So anything that's under it, it'll snap down to. So like if the UFO was under it, it would just snap to the, the top of the collision mesh of the UFO. All right, so since I have this object selected, that's perfect, and I've got snapping set to 100, this object is built at 100 by 100. So if you want to do grid-based snapping, then you can just easily, in this case, I can easily grid snap in any direction. So that's useful. Increments of the number that you wanna do. Oh, I set this one up so that you can also, it's pretty similar to the offset. But you can build objects relative to each other with their pivot points. So in this case, I have a, like a, a window frame and the pivot point is inset and the window itself is, is set here. And so if you take these two, so if you take the location of this one and you set it to this one, they snap exactly together. So that's kind of another modular way that you could work. All right, so the next one I had was socket snapping. So any object, you can do static meshes as well as skeletal meshes. And I'm just gonna show a static mesh. So if you hit Control B, we'll go into the content browser, we'll double click, and let's create a socket. So we'll call this socket A. You need this for the variable, and then you can just put that anywhere you want. And that just basically gives you the ability to have an additional snapping point. So let's just put that right kind of in the middle. All right, so we'll save that. Now we can make this movable and we'll make this movable and I'll set it so that when we hit the Z key, it snaps like the UFO snaps to this point here. So I've seen a lot of socket snapping in video games where you have like characters and you want to snap like weapons to their belts or whatever. But I've also used this myself where you snap one object to another object to keep relative. So we'll keep this relative to this. All right, so how do we do that? Let's go into the blueprints, level blueprint. We'll generate variables. There's a spaceship variable, and this 
panel, we'll make a variable for that. And we need to make a key bind. So we'll hit the Z key because that's easy. And we'll use this and we'll say attach. Attach to actor. Great. And so what is going to be the parent actor? Well, the panel is going to be the parent actor. And the panel is the one that has the socket. And what's the socket name? Well, we call that socket A. And we'll hit the Z key. And then what are we going to do? Location rule, we will snap to target. So that'll snap it right to the pivot point. You could have this snap right on begin play or you know whatever and you could keep it relative if you wanted as well so we could hit f7 close that okay so we're in unreal and we're simulating i'm going to hit the z key ah there it goes it snapped and now you know nudge that and it falls over because it's simulating physics we've got relative surface snapping is our next strategy all right so surface snapping i've got bound to alt shift s and you can see it turns on i've got grid snapping to alt shift g and usually i keep grid snapping on most of the time when i'm working unless i'm doing like set dressing so alt shift s i'm going to turn out turn off the grid snapping for a second i just want to show this to do surface snapping you need to move the object not from one of these constrained but from the center here and then you can see it starts to snap. You can drag it to different surfaces and it'll, it'll rotate. There it goes. It's, it's, there it goes. It's nicely snapping. Excellent. Sometimes you'll see some interesting pivots too as well. Okay. So the final one would be vertex snapping. So you just hold down the V key and you can snap it. You can see the vertices show up on objects. So we could snap to the vertice over here. Nice. All right. Well, that's the six snapping strategies. And that pretty much does it for this video. Thanks for watching.